At last, welcome viewer, as you no doubt have guessed, I am Outcast Dev School. You're here because you know something, what you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it this whole time. There's something wrong with locomotion, you don't know what it is, but it's there like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. It is this feeling that brought you to me. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know which to choose? All around us, tutorials are everywhere. Blend spaces or distance matching. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. That with the Animation Matching Suite plugin, both can be used together. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. Close the video, the story ends. You go back to Unreal and believe whatever you want to believe. Keep watching. You stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, and nothing more. If it wasn't already clear by that intro, which was definitely the product of a bit too much caffeine late last night, this video is going to be on the Animation Matching Suite plugin. This plugin does a lot of cool stuff, but its flagship feature is that you can distance match blend spaces. But that's not the only feature this plugin provides. It's actually created by a friend of mine who I've been working with on a game project for some time now. We've both been working on locomotion back and forth on this game, though he's been the main contributor to that part of the project for some time now and my focus has shifted to other things. Regardless of that, this plugin was made to specifically address issues that we had during development and to enable us to do things that we wanted to do. Now the plugin is currently on sale and a sample project was just put together for it. So I figured now would be a good time to finally make a video covering the plugin. Okay, so I'm here inside the sample project for this plugin, which is fully commented and a great learning resource to better understand how to practically apply the nodes that this plugin provides. And before we dive into the nodes that this plugin adds to the engine, I just want to showcase the end result of this sample project. And one of the biggest things to note with this sample project, aside from the nodes that the plugin adds, it includes an extended unarmed Lyra animation set where the animation coverage has been extended to an eight directional system that all works together using blend spaces. There's the capacity to strafe backwards or forwards in either direction, left or right. And everything that you see, every pose we're getting here is a product of a blend space that is being distance matched. As I kind of touched on in that intro, this plugin combines distance matching, and blend spaces. Two terms that have become somewhat synonymous, more so distance matching than blend spaces, with separate distinct approaches to the structuring of locomotion systems. In a lot of cases, the choice is presented as it being one or the other, blend spaces or distance matching. And this plugin takes those two awesome features of Unreal Engine 5 and combines them together, allowing for a combined approach where we have our cake and we eat it too. Well, if I scroll down here, we have this matching type dropdown and there's some more cool stuff here, but we'll come back around to that. Now, all the settings we would be calculating to use with distance matching, the matching distance, the curve name, play rate, whether or not we advance time naturally, whether or not we need to negate a distance curve value, they're all here as inputs for the node. Given a matching distance and a distance curve name, the matching node when set to distance match, and for this blend space player, it just works. There's also a sequence player as well that has been added by this plugin that has the full distance matching capabilities, which is just a simpler setup overall. You can calculate your input variables wherever you want, and the node handles distance matching, and you don't need to worry about placing down a distance match node in a bound update function. 
But that's not all that these nodes can do. As you might see here, there's a pose matching option on this sequence player node. And there is also that same pose matching option on this blend space node. And there's a pose and distance match option where both are combined together. And that is the other big, what I'll call a flagship feature of this plugin, aside from being able to distance match blend spaces. We can pose match a sequence player or a blend space player as it is being blended into. If we use a pose grabber node elsewhere in our graph, higher up in the hierarchy, and choose bones to track. In a lot of cases, the placement of this would be outside of a locomotion state machine and before any IK is applied, similar to inertialization. These nodes would then track the positions and velocities of the bones and use them for pose matching. And again, like crazy, this just works for blend spaces. Let's say we have a blend space with a bunch of animations and we are currently within a place on the blend graph where we're blending between two animations. Well, by default, this node will look at both animations to find the right entry time for pose matching. It'll take both of them into account. But we can set it to only use the highest weighted sample for either distance matching or pose matching, depending on which you are using or if you are using both. And that brings us to the final aspect of this deceptively simple set of nodes here. Distance matching and pose matching can be combined. The node will first pose match to attempt to find the proper entry pose, but it will perform distance matching as well. And in the case where the distance matching pose is before the pose matching pose that it finds, it'll just default to distance matching to avoid any sort of reverse playback. This plugin really is I think a fantastic value. It takes functionality present in Unreal Engine and combines it in a way that just makes things better while adding its own custom implementation of pose matching. And All right, everyone, I'm going to leave the video out here. Thanks for watching. Go check this plugin out, check the links in the description. And I'll see you all in the next video. But first, I will thank my supporters over on patreon.com forward slash outcast dev school for their continued support of the channel. The next video, which is the reason why I haven't posted for so long on the YouTube channel, is available now in early access for my supporters on Patreon. In it, I go over a relatively simple approach to motion matching the unarmed Lyra animations. It's not a complete system, but it is an all right starting point, and I did want to put something together to show you guys at least what I'd figured out thus far as I continue to work towards learning what I need to learn to put together a more comprehensive course on the subject. The project files are all still available, so if that interests you and you'd like to support the channel, definitely check out patreon.com forward slash outcast dev school. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.